Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year's, guys. Now, today we're going to be talking about how to counter any missile in the game and the various tactics. Now, make sure to subscribe and join the Discord down below to have a chance to feature in these videos. We do need a lot of pilots. Now, look at this. 81.7 are not subscribed to the channel. Please subscribe. We got to reach 100,000 subscribers. So, if you guys like this video, please give the channel a subscribe. Got to give that subscribe button a ketamine addiction. And also make sure to check out uh, Hornet Cinematics channel, link in the description. He will be helping me film this video. So yeah, go check that out. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about how to dodge various missiles, including radar missiles, IR missiles, missiles with IRCCM, your grandma's flipper, your mom's flipper, uh, and the belt. The very, very, various tactics to dodge these. Either way, I hope this video helps you guys out in some way. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so today we'll be demonstrating the first method, which is turn your engine off, flare, and make sure your flares are spaced. Now this traditionally works with the older missiles like the R60s, the AIM-9L. Um, with the AIM-9M, since it has IRCCM, it could kind of negate this, but we're going to try the 9M anyway, just to demonstrate how uh, well it works. Now you can see here we're full burner, we're going to turn off our engine, pre-flare, or not pre-flare, but just flare in general and the missile still connects now we're gonna try that with the 9L all right now we're gonna try that same tactic with the aim 9L and I'll demonstrate um, how that works real quick we're gonna get some range and we're gonna still use the same first tactic that we talked about I don't even know what it's called but we're gonna turn off our engine and periodically flare and since that missile doesn't have IRCCM that worked pretty well now we'll tell him to switch back to the 9L or the 9M <laughs> alright now we have the 9Ms and basically we're gonna try to we're just gonna pre-flare them and we'll demonstrate how that works now you still want to turn off your engine when you pre-flare them but you could see that one just veered right off we'll get some range again And we'll wait till he starts to launch. Alright, he's definitely in launch range. We're going to pre-flare again. Cool. And you can see it miss. Now, I told him to only shoot the 9Ms. That's why he's not gunning me down. Traditionally, you know, he would... I'd be trying to defend. He'd be trying to kill me. Yeah, that's... I got lucky there. I was not pre-flaring. I was also not pre-flaring there. And you can see, that hits. So, that's like a really good demonstration right there. You know, if you don't pre-flare... You're gonna die to the 9M. You do pre-flare, chances are the missile's gonna miss. And uh, yeah, that's I guess pre-flaring. That's how you would dodge a missile with IRCCM. And this includes the R-73 as well, and the later missiles that they'll eventually add. Now Hornet is going to shoot me with a radar missile. We're just going to demonstrate how to generally dodge them. Now you could notch, you could crank, you could do all these special tricks, but most of the time in War Thunder your best tactic is going to be going over Mach 1 and just letting the missile hit the ground. Make sure you're low near the ground, as low as you possibly could get. Now there are, like if you're too slow, shrapnel could get you, it could catch you when it hits the ground. Or if you're near buildings or trees, sometimes uh, it could hit the top of them and still shrapnel you. But uh, for the most part, this tactic pretty much works. You can see launched radar missile and it slammed right into the ground. I didn't have to flare. I still have my burners on. Life is good. Um, now I'll show you an example of when things go wrong. If you're going too slow or if there's mountains and various terrain, uh, here's a video of it hitting. All right, so we got, uh, he's in front of us. This tactic, traditionally, you only want to do this in a merge. It can work versus radar missiles, but it's mostly against IR missiles. And basically, you're trying to shoot the missile, uh, but at the very least, confuse it when uh, the adversary launches. So, launch, and you can see our missile hit his missile. And sometimes it'll just confuse the missile and make it veer off. And we'll try it again in the second merge here. And you can see that missile just veers right off. And 
This tactic, again, traditionally you would use it in a merge. Um, I don't really see another scenario where you can use it, unless you're trying to shoot down a missile trying to hit a target, I guess. But mostly you want to use it in a merge. You can use it with radar missiles. Again, it's a little iffy. Sometimes it'll confuse the radar and work, but most of the time it doesn't work. We'll dump a bunch of countermeasures. If you see that mist, that was one of our older tactics we used there. But anyway, let's move on. Now, another tactic for IRCCM missiles is to dump as many countermeasures as possible. Now, this is if you weren't pre-flaring and the missiles launched. Typically, if you're not pre-flaring and they launch a missile, it's going to hit you. But if you use tactics like dumping a bunch of countermeasures, you could see the missile misses. Now, that was an emerge, of course, so it will demonstrate uh, what it's like after launch. Of course, you still need to turn off your throttle and lower the speed, so we'll turn it off. Dump a bunch of countermeasures, try to change your vector as much as possible, and you can see the missile misses. Now the reason this works is because IRCCM missiles blink a lot to counter flares, so when you're pumping out a bunch of flares, the first thing it'll see is sometimes is flares. But this doesn't work all the time. This is a last resort if you're not pre-flaring. Now last but not least, we have the prey method, which basically means pushing your engine in a different direction so the missile can't see you. Now last but not least, basically in this last bit we're just going to show you what good flaring can do for you. I'm carrying the R73s on this and the Gripen is carrying the AM9Ms, two very difficult missiles to dodge, but basically we're just going to fly around a couple times, flaring, pre-flaring, doing all that, and the main goal is not to get hit by a missile at all. And uh, you'll see in this clip that basically none of us really get hit by a missile. Just because we're pre-flaring, we're using correct tactics. Uh, the Gripen specifically carries a good amount of flares, so you could just put on flare series, which I suggest you do when you get into a dogfight with a jet. At least in, um, honestly, to be honest, you could do it in RB and Sim. Both tactics work well. Now for this first round, we'll actually be forcing the merge. Traditionally, you wouldn't do that in a real match, but this is just to demonstrate um, what pre-flaring does. You could see that R73 just disappears. It does nothing. And that's because you're, the Gripen is pre-flaring, and I believe it's on a flare series right now, so it's nearly impossible to actually track the bird and hit it. You would have to just have a one in a million shot. Now, the last thing I wanted to demonstrate was the 9M in Sim, so he has been authorized to shoot in the merge with the 9M. I just want to show you guys how visible this missile actually is in the merge. Um, there's some situations where you could see it launch with certain lightings, but uh, you could see there, you see it for maybe a millisecond and the jet it implodes now i believe the missile is more visible in real life but war thunder has made it super invisible um which i don't think it necessarily is overpowered because there's ways to go about it you could just free flare before the merge when you see a jet if you think it's an f-16 if your rwr says that or a gripen or jet that carries 9ms just pre-flare like we just did in the merge and it's almost impossible to actually shoot but you'll see here that another one gets launched and it's almost impossible to see but um yeah when we get later versions of the 9m or if we do if they just jump straight to the m9x which also has a smokeless motor hopefully they tweak it a little bit but um yeah th this is why i think having the r73 with the 9m is perfectly balanced i, I think it's fine I mean, they're both good missiles. One could maneuver, one you could barely see. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Obviously, there's more tactics I could cover, but I'll probably make a separate video on jamming the Wes and all sorts of other notching and cranking all that junk. But anyway, thank you for watching. God bless. Take care and uh, subscribe.